Hey guys, welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day video. For those of you that are new or don't know, I've been able to maintain a 40 pound weight loss by eating smarter, healthier meal options and living a more active lifestyle. Before we get started with today's meals, make sure that you're still following me on Instagram and TikTok and that you're still subscribed to my channel so you never miss a new video. Breakfast today is very simple and also a go-to for me. I'm gonna take a serving of my Feya Total Zero Greek yogurt. I love this for parfaits and smoothies. It's super high in protein, zero grams of fat and only five carbs. Then I use either fresh or frozen berries. These were frozen and I just stuck them in the microwave for like 15 seconds and mix this together with the yogurt. Then top this off with a little bit of granola and some honey to add a bit more sweetness. The yogurt is unflavored, but they also recently started carrying strawberry and vanilla if you are looking for a flavored base. For lunch today, we're gonna make chicken sausage and sweet potato soup. It's so yummy, I can't even describe it to you. It's so good. I've already prepped my ingredients by peeling and dicing my sweet potato, finely dicing my onion, removing the stems, and chopping up my kale. Next, you're gonna heat up your pot with a little bit of olive oil on medium to high heat, adding in the onion, stirring occasionally until softened for about five minutes. Then add in your chicken sausage, breaking up the meat into smaller pieces until it's brown and cooked all the way through for about another five minutes. Next, you're ready to stir in your sweet potato, stock concentrate, one to two teaspoons of Italian seasoning and two and a half cups of water. And then just cover this and bring it to a boil. Then reduce the heat to medium and simmer for about seven minutes. Then you're ready to uncover your pot and stir in the kale. You're gonna simmer it until it's wilted and the sweet potato is tender. So for about another five to seven minutes. I mixed together a little bit of butter and Italian seasoning and I added this to my baguette. I pre-cut this into four pieces because this soup will actually take me a few days to get through. So keep that in mind, this is not just one serving. And I did toast this for about four minutes. Once the soup is ready, you can top this off with some Parmesan cheese, serve the toast on the side, and it's ready to enjoy. The extra toast and the extra soup I just put into containers to save for the next couple days. But if you're making this for yourself and your significant other, you can easily divide this into two to share for lunch or dinner. It's so tasty and it's honestly so easy. It really doesn't take long at all to cook or prep and it's just so flavorful, especially in the winter, like as a comfort food, it's so good. Tonight's dinner is another super easy and super delicious option. This is honey garlic chicken with broccoli, carrots, and Brussels sprouts. I first diced up my chicken breasts and seasoned these with some pepper, placing these in a nonstick pan on medium to high heat with a little olive oil, stirring these occasionally until brown, so this should be about five to seven minutes. In a second nonstick pan, I'm also gonna heat this up with olive oil, adding in my broccoli and carrots. I'm also gonna add in green onion, one fourth cup of water, some more pepper and chili seasoning. Stirring these occasionally for about three minutes. I also steamed up the Brussels sprouts on the side. You can include these with the broccoli and carrots if you'd like. Then just cover and cook until it's tender for about five minutes. While the veggies are cooking, you can move back onto the chicken, adding garlic, honey, teriyaki glaze, and stirring together for about a minute. Once this is simmering, remove from the burner, plate your chicken and veggies, and dinner is ready. I gave Will mainly the Brussels sprouts and myself mainly the carrots because he's not a huge carrot fan. <laughs> I personally love it all, but you can certainly swap out veggies to better fit your taste preference. So that's everything for today's What I Eat in a Day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did. I have a dedicated playlist to a bunch of previous meal examples you can check out as more inspiration. I also have a blog post dedicated to my full weight loss journey, more information about meals, workouts, etc. if you have any interest in that. I'll have the link down below in the description box you can click on to check that out. As always, thank you guys so much for all your support and watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.